For this demonstration, OpenVPN Access Server has been provisioned in its own VCN inside a public subnet. Customer VCNs host virtual machines for two different customers and are connected via dynamic routing gateway. Now for the requirements, remote users should only be able to connect to their respective networks. Admin users can connect to any network and customer VCNs cannot talk to each other. Let's dive right into the demo. First, we configure the OpenVPN access server. Make sure to disable this option in the VPN settings as we plan to control the traffic based on the user group. Next, we will look at the group settings. I have created three groups, two for each of the customers and one for admin. Let's see how they are set up. For customer one, under access control, I have selected yes and entered the CIDR block of the customer one VCN. Similarly, for customer two, I have entered the CIDR block of customer two VCN. Now for admin, since admin users need access to all the networks, I have added the default route. Next step is to create actual users. For this video, I have created a single user for each user group and added them to the appropriate group that we created in the previous step. Now let's have a look at the OCI configuration. In the routing table of OpenVPN access server, traffic to the customer VCNs is sent to the DRG and default route is pointing to the internet gateway. In the customer VM's route table, I have added a route rule to enable traffic to the OpenVPN VCN. Now, let's focus on the DRG routing. To isolate customer VCNs from each other, I have utilized import route distributions and customized route tables. OpenVPN VCN can be left associated with the default auto-generated route table. The customer VCN attachments share a common customized route table. Let's click into that. This route table uses import route distribution, which imports routes from only OpenVPN VCN. At this point, all the configuration is complete. Let's verify our network reachability against the requirements mentioned at the start. First, I have connected as the customer one user. Now let's do some ping tests. I can successfully ping customer one virtual machine, but not customer two. Now, as a customer two user, I can successfully ping customer two virtual machine, but not customer one. Now, as an admin user, I can ping both the virtual machines. Now I am logged into the customer one virtual machine. Let's try to ping customer two virtual machine. As expected, ping fails. Now let's try vice versa. Our connectivity test behaved as expected and we have successfully fulfilled all the requirements. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com. Thank you for watching the video.